Did you feel it? I did last night's 5.2 earthquake near Bakersfield, but did you get an alert on your phone moments before? Fox 11's Christy Fajardo live in Pasadena, where seismologists are encouraged by the number of people who did get those shake alerts. Christy? Yeah, they are encouraged. I mean, ideally, we would have an algorithm or a computer program that could predict earthquakes. We're not there yet, but as you said, there are algorithms that can tell us that shaking is imminent. And if you didn't get an alert yesterday, well, there could be a wide range of reasons why. Seconds before the strongest shaking, people near Bakersfield started seeing this on their cell phones. But in L.A. County, social media is full of examples of people who got the alerts. and others who didn't. My wife got the, the alert and I didn't get the alert. What's going on? And so there's always this troubleshooting that goes on around this process. Dr. Robert DeGroote is with the U.S. Geological Survey, the agency that notifies apps and carriers that shaking is coming. He says algorithms and processing software detect earthquakes and assess data in about a second and push it out to the apps and carriers if the magnitude reaches a 4.5 in an area hoping to give people enough time to hold on and take cover. But he says the system is evolving. There's, there's all kinds of factors. It's everything from how people have installed it on their phones, the last time they checked it, the last time they opened it, maybe there was an update that was sent out. That's why he says it's critical to have the latest updates and to tune up your cell phone to make sure notifications are turned on and allowed even when you're browsing and that our devices are connected to the internet so alerts can get through. So we work closely with our alert delivery providers like Google and MyShake and others to understand what's, what's actually getting to people's cell phones. He says the shake alerts have already saved lives in places like Japan. But for now, seismologists say it's unlikely Tuesday's earthquake will produce alerts for stronger shaking. Like every earthquake in Southern California, there's about a 5% chance that this earthquake can be followed by something larger uh, and in the same location. You don't see an earth, a foreshock isn't something that's, you know, over there and then set off an earthquake down in, in L.A. I have the Shake LA alert or the Shake Alert LA app, and I was one of those that did not get an alert. And lo and behold, I checked, and my notifications were turned off. They're on now. Live in Pasadena, I'm Christy Fajardo. Listen back to you.